guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna be talking about my skin routine so I want to share with you some tips and how I take care of my skin I have oily skin and acne prone skin I tend to use natural products or DIY things that I make at home instead of buying conventional products that I used to buy often before so not only it makes my life so much easier but I save money this way and these tips can be applied for any type of skin because it is so natural and the few products that I do use I make sure they are cruelty free and not tested on animals and I used to have a lot of acne before but I've seen a lot of improvement since I've been doing this routine so I don't use a lot of things so I'm gonna be sharing with you what I do in the morning and at night time before going to bed so let's get started so in the morning to get a very clean skin, what I like to do to get my skin ready before makeup or there are days that I don't use any makeup at all, I still do these things. So what I like to do, I use a DIY toner where I just mix a little bit of lemon and water. And I have a separate video for that where I share with you three toners that I make at home with lemon, apple cider vinegar, and rose water. So if you want to check that out, I have a video for that, which I'm going to link it for you guys. So I just sprayed that on my skin and that makes my skin so clean. And to me, this is the best toner that I've used. This is something like you said that it's very simple, very natural that you can make at home with just two simple ingredients. And I just make sure that if I'm going to be doing these toners, I use filtered water instead of regular water that has chlorine. So then if I see that I have a blemish, the way that I like to treat it is with tea tree oil. I just grab a Q-tip and, and put a few drops. Some people like to dilute it with water and some don't. So it all depends on the type of acne that I have on that day. So if I see that it's a small blemish, then I do dilute it with water and I apply that on the blemish. But if it's one of those pimples that it's big and that it hurts, then I don't apply anything. I just put on the tea tree oil just as it is to make it go away faster. So yeah, I love using this as a spot on treatment for my acne and it works perfect. Then I like to apply primer. Sometimes I do it if I'm going to be using makeup for the day or sometimes just because I want to apply it because it leaves the skin so soft. I use the primer by Ribiva Labs and I love the texture of this primer. It has the consistency of gel and I just apply it all over my face and it leaves the skin so soft, kind of like baby skin. And I even talked about this product in one of my favorites video, but because I still use it and I love it so much, I wanted to mention it in this video as well. So I just love it. So it is my favorite primer and I recommend it. As a moisturizer, I don't really use anything I used to before, but I tried so many brands and it would make my skin so oily and it would actually cause me to break out. So that's why I don't use a moisturizer anymore and I've seen a big improvement in my skin. As far as SPF, because I'm home most of the day, the only time that I see the sun basically is in the afternoon when I go pick up my daughter from school and I like taking an umbrella. I actually like getting that little bit of sun because it is natural vitamin D. So I take advantage of that small time that I see the sun. But if I know I'm going to be in the sun for many hours, like if I go to the beach or at the park, then I do use sunscreen. In that case, I recommend any product by Alba Botanica, like this one here. And what I like about this brand is that they have no parabens, no flat leaves, and they don't test on animals, which to me is very important, and with 100% vegetarian ingredients. So yeah, if you're looking for a good sunscreen, I recommend this brand. Okay, so as far as night routine, 
When I remove my makeup, I like to use baby wipes and apply a little bit of oil. It could be either almond oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, whichever one you have at home. I always like to alternate. Lately, I have been using coconut oil and I just make sure they are natural baby wipes. They have no fragrance or no chemicals in them. So I like to use the ones by 7th generation. And I just rub the baby wipe on my skin and it removes all the makeup. It works so perfectly for me. And this is kind of using the Evil method, if you're familiar with that. So basically, the Evil, which is extra virgin olive oil, the reason behind it is because when you apply oil onto your face, it kind of attracts the oil and removes all the dirt in your pores, leaving the skin very clean and it does not break you out as many people believe. Then if I want to exfoliate my skin, then I use a cognac sponge and all you have to do is just get it wet to make it soft and this is great because this sponge will naturally balance your pH on the skin. When I use this sponge, I love the results. It leaves my skin exfoliated. And then as an extra step, I don't do this all the time. I like to mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar with water. And then I add this to the sponge and that extra cleans my face. And again, this leaves the skin so clean and so soft. If you've tried this before, then you know what I mean. And then if I see that I have acne on my face, then I like to apply tea tree oil once again. And then at nighttime, I do moisturize because like I mentioned before, if I do it at daytime because of the hot weather, it makes my skin so oily. So at nighttime, I do apply either coconut oil or jojoba oil or almond oil, whichever one you have at home. And this helps my skin. Okay, so just a few extra things that I like to do. These are things that I like doing once a week or every two weeks. I like to use a vibrating brush and that helps my skin so much to stay clear from acne scars. And again, this leaves the skin so clean, like extra clean. <laughs> And I know it's recommended to do it like two or three times per week, but I just do it once a week because I've done it in the past that many times. And if I do it often, it leaves my skin so dry and then my skin kind of starts peeling. So to avoid that, I just do it once a week or every two weeks and it leaves my skin so soft like a baby. And I used to do the micro roller often, but I don't anymore because it would leave my skin dry. Some people say that they do see results and some people say that it doesn't do anything to your skin. So it's all about trying to see if you do see results. And a micro roller basically is tiny needles into the roller and you roll that onto your skin and basically it helps to remove wrinkles or to make your skin tight and basically it's poking your skin so that way you won't get any more acne but in my case it would get my skin dry and i would actually see a little bit more of acne or i would get whiteheads so to avoid that i use it less often now but let me tell you, it does hurt a little bit because they are little tiny needles and it leaves the skin red for a few hours and it leaves it sensitive as well. But like you said, you can try it and see if you like the results on your skin. And then the last thing that I want to share with you guys is a mask that I love to use. And that is the bentonite clay. And this is so cheap to get. It's less than $10 and this bottle is huge and all you need is a small amount and basically to use this clay all you have to do is mix this with the same amount of water or vinegar and you apply this on your skin so depending on the type of skin that you have if you have sensitive skin then you can leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes if you have normal skin then maybe between 10 to 15 minutes and you just apply this to your skin 
and it will dry. You will not be able to smile or do anything, not even move a muscle. And this basically pulls out all of the dirt that you have on your skin and it leaves the skin super soft. And again, this is very natural and doesn't have a lot of ingredients. Basically, it's just one ingredient, natural calcium bentonite. That's it. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope these tips are helpful or the products that I mentioned. It wasn't a lot and if you have any questions for me, you can leave it in the comments section. And yes, I've seen a lot of improvement on my skin. I used to have a lot of acne before. I can maybe even make a video about that. But having this routine, I've seen a lot of difference on my skin and I just love using natural simple things that I can get for cheap. Not only it's great for you but it's also great for the planet. And I just want to say thank you so much to all the people that have been subscribing to my channel and thank you to those who watch my videos regularly. It means so much to me. And you can always find me on my other social media accounts. I have Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram with the same name, Lynn Sire. And as always, if you have liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye. extra step I don't do this all the time I like to fix fix and having this routine I've seen that's my daughter she's watching TV oh. sorry